Hey guys, Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today I'm just going to be playing some uh, offline, well not really offline because you're never really offline because you're using user created courses, but I'm just going to be playing some rounds on some Colin Mafia courses. Colin is always kind enough to let me know when he's actually uploaded or created a new course or ported one over from the Golf Club 1, so I feel it's only right that I actually play his courses. And I am a big fan of the real course creations and that is pretty much where Colin's forte lies. So he creates some absolutely fantastic uh, real representations of, of real life courses. So I'm going to do a couple of those today in this video. If anybody's watching on Twitch that would like to, anybody watching live on Twitch that would like to join me for a round, feel free to jump in. You'll see the game that, or you'll see the course that I'm going to be selecting on the screen in a minute. Uh, just a couple of little housekeeping things. I promised I'd give a shout out to Mr. Joey West. He is a friend of mine on the PlayStation Network and he also follows me or subscribes to my YouTube channel and he always leaves comments on there so I'd like to give him a big shout out and also the fact that he has created a different version of the True North Golf Society. So it was it came about joey contacted me and said you know some of the guys that aren't playing particularly well that have handicaps that are minus handicaps because your true north golf society doesn't take handicaps into consideration the people that don't play not that they don't play particularly well but don't play to the same level as the people that have you know really really low handicaps um they don't ever really stand a chance of either winning or coming top 10 or making any money off of it. So he asked me whether I would mind if he created a True North Golf Society handicap version. And I said I had no problem with that at all. So if you guys are True North Golf Society members and or if you want a second society or you want another society to join, check out the True North Handicap Golf Society. I think that's exactly what it is. I think it's True North HCP. Um, it's run by Mr. Joey West or Joey West. So look out for for Joey's name, and you'll be able, you'll know which you, that you've got the right one. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to mention is I wanted to say thank you very very much for all those people that follow me on Twitch and that subscribe to my YouTube channel. Without you guys and without the support and the constant comments and feedback that I get from you guys. I would not do this at all. I wouldn't even bother. I'd just play the game like most other people do and I wouldn't actually put any videos up either on Twitch, I wouldn't stream live on Twitch or I wouldn't post them up on YouTube. So thank you very much for the support. Thank you for the feedback. I do appreciate it all and I do let you guys know in the comments when you drop them on the YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Um, I'm gonna go to Friends Courses because I should be able to find one of Colin Mafia's from there. I need to play Jack's new course, so if you guys are looking for a course to, to play as well, Links at Island Shores, that's one of Jack's new courses. Um, there's one of Colin Mafia's courses, so let's, in fact, that's the one I'm looking for. So there's his beta version, and here is his real version. I can't see what that one is. That's Peregrine Course at Longfellow. We are going to play Harbour Town. That's the first one I'm going to do. So let's do a round on this. And then I want to do another round on another one of Colin's courses. I'm not sure which one at the moment. But um, let's choose a tee box. Let's go blues. I always go for the longest one possible. And let's choose pin set three today. All right, got me brew. And as I said, if you're watching on Twitch, thank you for thank you for joining. Thank you for joining the stream. You're welcome. You're very welcome into the stream today. If you are playing on the PlayStation at the same time and you want to join me for a round, free, feel free to jump in. You can see the name of the course up on the screen there, Harbour Town Heritage Course by Colin Mafia. I'm just about to start the round, so if you, uh, you fancy jumping in, you're more than welcome. And Martin's just... Martin, are you not at the golf? I've just seen that uh, Malster's just joined the the Twitch stream, but I thought he was at the golf today. He may be watching on a mobile device, so uh, 
Fair enough, he's got the real golf outside and he's got the virtual golf on the screen here. I think he wants to see if I've still got the yips from where he beat me yesterday. <laughs> if anybody of you, if anybody wants to check that out, I mean, Martin, Martin doesn't normally beat me on this game. And yesterday he beat me two rounds back to back and he was incredibly proud of himself. And um, I did record the video and I did post it live um, oh, sorry, I did post it. I did put it live on YouTube. Um, so if you want to go and see my demise at the hands of Mouster, then feel free to check it out. Um, so Martin's saying he sat in the clubhouse. It's horrible out there. All right. I know it's raining outside at the moment at the open. Um, Ian Poulter is still hanging in there. I believe last time I checked, he was through 10, still at three under par. So he's still right up there on the leaderboard. I'm hoping, I'm hoping he can hang on in there. Uh, Easy Money MG Poulter hanging in there. I'm rooting for him. Thank you very much. Uh, Coastal Royalty, welcome along. And yeah, smug, I think, is the, definitely the word that I'm looking for. You were, you were more than smug yesterday, my friend. But as you can see, the perfect, perfect swing is back. A good evening, Wilson Special. Whereabouts are you, Coastal Royalty? All right, we're in, we're close. And I've lipped out on the first. I've been doing that all day today. I shot one really good round and then I've been lipping out loads today. But uh, my approach shots have been pretty good. I just didn't manage to capitalise on that. I thought I saw what looked like a... Um, like a homemade water tower that uh, it looks like Collins tried to create in the game. I'll have to see if I can see that in the game. Oh yeah, West Virginia, sorry about that. Morning here in the States, but I know it's afternoon. Yeah, it's uh, it's 4 p.m. here. And Jack, welcome along, welcome to the stream, my friend. I did see your course had just appeared on the, uh, on the friends course list. I say I'll be playing it when I fancy some, uh, some quirkiness, because no doubt it'll be right up there with the dormant volcano one. Probably not as nuts, am I right? Right, 2.34 to the flag. Can't see that water tower at the minute, but I did see it. It looked like he tried to made it out, make it out of rock, which is really difficult. He's tri there it is, there. So the trees really make it sound dead echoey. I'll take that. I will take that all day long. That's going to be for Eagle. I wanted to do more with it, but getting errors on the save. So I'll update if they sort it. It is not quite as quirky as the volcano. Good. Because <laughs> that was just super quirky. Uh, okay. Just see, just about see the hole there. And I've missed it. Where? I, it's, I, this is the thing that somebody was saying the other night. It's so difficult to see the hole sometimes. Um, it's pretty good to be fair to Jack this time. Reviewed it earlier on. Definitely worth the play. Martin reviewed it on Twitch this morning. My time. Did you... Did you stream it live, Martin? And if so, have you uh, have you exported it to YouTube? Because I'll go and take a go and take a look. I will play it, mind, but it'd be nice to see what um, what the video is like on Twitch and or YouTube. Um, 
if people, because obviously I can't watch TV at the same time that I'm streaming, so if people can just give me some updates on how Pulse is doing, please, that would be greatly appreciated. What hole he's on and what his score is. I know Martin, you're probably going to have it right there. I did. You just don't follow me, so you won't get a notification. Um, did you put it on YouTube? If so, I'll go and check it out on YouTube after I've had a look at the dolphin videos. Jack, I will say I've not lost my status of being evil in course design. Just trunk off on 12th. Is he still three under? Wow, look at this for a hole. Jordan Spieth updates, lol, only kidding. Yeah, I saw that Jordan birdied the first and bogeyed the second. So, uh, but he then he he put it right next to the flag. Is he still is he still five under or has he gone back to six under? I'll follow you. Don't cry. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I'll take that. If you guys ever want to play some really nice courses, you've got to check out Colin Mafia courses if you haven't done already. They are just absolutely fantastic. And they're so much fun to play. He's just sore about the losses yesterday. Um... Yeah, not if you saw what I shot earlier on in the uh, in this week's in uh, in Wadey's tournament this week. Martin was showing a post three round total score of six under par and showing it with pride and saying, "Come and get me!" And I think I finished that entire tournament at twenty under par. So. I'm back. I'm definitely back. I think it was just a blip on the radar and uh, I'm swinging nicely again. As you can see from, from the video here today, I'm getting a lot of perfect perfects now. Don't get me wrong, I still occasionally trip up and get a um, fast perfect. As you can see there, another perfect, perfect, and they're all in the red cones, so they're all going really nicely. I could do with that getting up that slope, which I don't think it's going to do. It would have made that putt a little better if it got to the top, but now I've got to go up and over, but it's okay. <clears throat> right, let's just switch off my Twitch notifications. Just give us a second, guys. Not Twitch my steam notifications there we go i finished that tournament 19 under i should have won but played the last few bad at the volvo masters i was gutted yeah i played pretty well in um in way these tournaments but um it's the other ones i haven't done particularly well in i i think i shot level par in um, the second cut one this week i tell you what if you want to play a tough course you've got to play that one that they're playing on um le golf uh, on the second cut this week it's le golf national where they're playing the Ryder cup in europe next year man that is a tough tough course I was like two over par for like most of the way around and I only managed to scramble back to score level at the end of the round. That is a brutal, brutal course. Pointer just sank, do you mean Polter just sank a 15 foot birdie? Is that Polter? Is that Poulter, and if so, is he now four under par?
Poulter has birdied. Four under. Nice. One shot off the lead. Come on, Poulter. Butch Harmon was saying that he reckons four under par could be leading at the end of the day because I think that's what Kuchar is on in the clubhouse. So if Poulter can stick at four under, I will be pleased as punch. Well, I've just yanked the living crap out of that. Thank God it didn't go in the bunker. Wow, look at that. That was not good. All that, wow. <whistles> Two really shit shots there. That's better. I think that was for par though. Going for a walk, catch you later. Yeah, see you later fella, enjoy the golf. Hope you don't get too wet. Hmm. All right, so after a string of four birdies, I get a bogey. Oh, look at this for a par three. Look at the work that he puts into this. It's just phenomenal. Really, really beautiful course creation this is. As I said, if anybody's looking for any courses to play, definitely check out Colin Mafia courses. Couldn't have hit that much straighter. Little to the right and a little long, but should hold the green. All right, where's the hole? There's the hole. Not a lot of movement in this. Maybe a bit off the left. B-Man Canada, I played K-Club K yesterday, enjoyed it. Yeah, it is. he does make some cracking courses, and this is another one. I mean, I used to play Harbour Town on an old, old game years and years ago. And um, when Colin messaged me and told me that he'd put his Harbour Town in here, I, I, I needed to get on it and play it, and I really wanted to stream it because I wanted to show you guys the quality of his courses yet again. Um... He has said he is currently working on East Lake and the 2010 course at Celtic Manor. And the 2010 course is the one that I'm most looking forward to. Um, East Lake's another nice one. I played quite a lot of that in Tiger 13 or 14. One of the, the last Tiger, I can't remember which one it was, 14, I think. So. Um, I know that course pretty well from that game, but uh, it'd be nice to see it in the golf club. And um, I am going to use an awful lot of Collins courses in the next season of the True North Golf Society because I want to try and get more and more real courses in there and less fictitious courses. Well, just so it feels like we're actually playing on real, well, we're actually playing real golf on real courses. Um, and as I said, if you haven't checked out the YouTube video and you weren't in the Twitch stream, what I'm going to do in season number two is I'm going to do um, for minor events or not majors, should I say, two rounds in two days and then the majors will be four rounds in four days. And I think that we'll get through the seasons a lot quicker doing it that way. Good morning, good evening, Sushi, well done. Welcome along, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you back again. All right. 
Yeah, he's definitely put some extra little bits into this when he's been importing it because we've got golf club two camera towers and all the tournament stuff. You can see there's a little bit of a grandstand down the end. So he hasn't just brought them across from TGC one. I'm not sure whether this was one of the TGC one courses anyway. But if it was, he has actually taken some time to add some extra bits into it and uh, modify it and upgrade it so it is now sort of suited for TGC2. You can see that he's put the grandstands in there. Um, blind High, very entertaining video yesterday. Yeah, I've had quite a few comments on YouTube. Um, I think people enjoyed it. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, even, I, I, you know, as frustrating as it was. I've got to look at it and laugh at it because that's all you can do and it was just a, it always is just a little bit of fun. We never take ourselves too seriously um, and I'm glad that it was it was good for people to watch. That should be good, it's going to check up though, it's a lofted club. Nine foot, hole number nine already. Okay, we're through hole number nine, and I think we are still very much under par. Four under par through nine. It's a pity about that red number smack bang in the middle there, but nonetheless, we got it back fairly quickly. Is that tree going to be in the way? Let's take it out of the equation. I thought I was going to go, I thought I put too much draw on that, but that's pretty damn good. Right, 168. I wa your worst holes are my, you I wasn't banned after yesterday, so that's a bonus. I'd never ban you, my friend, never ban anyone, unless there's uh, abusive racist anything like that that's the only thing that i uh, i tend to ban people for so you've not to worry at all your worst holes are my usual holes so i do admire your skill set <laughs> oh man it's uh i've been playing this game a long time so it has come over a long period of time um it's not just overnight so yeah keep persevering it does come it is it's I play by feel. There are other people on here that play by the numbers. I know that you can work and work out. You can calculate pretty much everything. Um, the only thing that you'll ever sort of hear me calculating is distance changes due to elevation. I don't tend to do an awful lot for wind. I do it all by feel. Um, what I get used to really. I do have a very slight, this is this is tough, because if you end up too far right, you're gonna be under those trees. I do have a very slight fade, and that's why I tend to, yeah, you can see it there. That's why I tend to move my aiming marker right down the left-hand side of the fairway. See, this is gonna be tough. I think these trees are too close, that they overhang too much here. Well, that's going to be okay, actually. I think we're going to be good there. Um, 162. I might... No, I think that's going to get the roll out that it needs. Perfect, perfect. Nice and straight. Little left, but let's see if it gets the roll. All right. It's pretty good. TGC Tours TV is now auto-hosting you for up to 17 viewers. What does that mean? Anybody know what that means in Twitch? Somebody's auto-hosting me for up to 17 viewers. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but if somebody can let me know, that'd be good. 
Jack Nicholas played with a fade all his career. Lol, look where it, look where it got him. Yeah, what did he get? 16 majors? Yeah, it's a pity though, because it's only on video games. It's not, in, <laughs> it's not in real life, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here. I'd be out in the rain up in Southport playing golf. I think if you go to that channel, it will be redirected to your channel. Ah, nice. Wow. That was not a good shot. What happened there? I was too busy reading the chat and I didn't see what happened there. Okay, I've got a tough shot coming up here. I'm in mulch. So this is new. I don't think I've played from mulch before, but let's see if we can get it up there. Yeah, Jack is definitely the number one ranked player of all time. Look at that, that's not bad from the mulch. Twitch Bombs, they host you on their channel. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Thank you, TGC Tours TV, for doing that. That was completely out of the blue. All right, this is a tough putt because this is now a birdie. But this, for me, is just all about getting it close because that is a brutal, brutal swing. I need it to slow now. That's gone 10, 11 feet past the hole. Um, if anybody's watching the Open as well as watching me play here, can you let me know how Mr. Poulter's doing, please, if you wouldn't mind. Last I heard he was on 12. And he had just sunk a 15 put, 15 put, 15 foot birdie, a 15 foot birdie to go to four under par. By the way, now when I hit a bad shot, I need and I need a bounce. I yell Tim Wilson right before the ball hits the ground. That seems to be a thing at the moment. Um, oh, that's a three wood. Um, everybody thinks that I get all the good bounces. I can tell you, I played a couple of society rounds earlier, and I was getting nothing. It's almost like I had completely drained the tank of all my good luck. Every single bounce I was getting was just complete rubbish. You'll notice if you've been watching that if you've been in the Twitch stream for a while, I haven't had a Tim Wilson bounce today or any kind of Tim Wilson good fortune. So let's see if we can drain something from 105 yards. That would be nice. Started off nice and straight. Oh, oh, that'll do. Dino412, hi Tim, good day to you. Hi to you, Dino412, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us, you're very welcome. Wow, look at this, look at this for a golf hole, guys. I mean, you can't tell me Colin doesn't put the effort in. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Don't need a special when you're in the fairway all the time. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it doesn't always happen though. Let's take a bit off that and let's see if we get a little bit of a run up to this flag. Nice and straight again, almost perfect. Little right, I need it to check up a bit. Bit too much roll, that's gone 203 yards. I've been on vacation since the PS4 patch, hope it's working. I have a PS4 Pro and I was experiencing the stuttering, hope that's fixed. Um, yes and no, there's not as many. One thing I have noticed though, and I think they've got the stability a little better, I don't know about other people, but definitely for me on the PS4, I don't get the blue screen, the network error anymore, where it sort of crashes. Um, I haven't had that at all since the patch. So there are some good things. 
Um, there are updates on leaderboards, visual stuff. Um, they have fixed the stutter putter a little bit. Occasionally you still get a glitch on the swing. Um, this isn't the open we wanted, but the open we needed. Um, I think this is an open that, like every other open, it is, you know, there's not stupidly low scoring. Um, the weather is massively impactful on the result. Um, and it really does, it's a different type of golf. It really is a different type of golf and it is absolutely fantastic to watch. I heard the lighting is better. I mean, that's one of the things that they said that they fixed, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. All right, so I'm pretty sure we can get over these trees. I'm not gonna take the driver, but I wanna try and dump it in the fairway there. And it's gonna go through and it's gonna drop and it's gonna be right in the middle of that water. Now, can I get over? Or am I gonna go up in the tree? I hit the tree again. I don't think... Okay, so it didn't have the same impact the second time I hit the tree. And hopefully, I'm gonna have a putt for par here. Yeah, the rough definitely got me there. So this is a putt for par. Oh! The rough seems to neuter shots a little too much in this game, at least compared to TGC1. Um, I like the fact that the rough has an impact on the shot that you're playing because it would do if you were playing real golf and it just just emphasizes the importance of being in the fairway and I only just drifted into the rough there and I've put a fast on that I'm hoping yeah that was I was going to say, that's a Tim Wilson bounce. So there's my Tim Wilson bounce. Um, if anybody would do me a complete solid and uh, let me know how Poulter's doing, I would appreciate it, guys. Ah, I've just hit a fast on that one as well. It hasn't, it hasn't hurt me that much. Okay, we're in. We're back. After the bogey, I've just picked up a birdie. Six under par, two under for the back, four under for the front, so two holes left. Four under through 13, Ian Poulter. Get in, my son. Thank you very much, Dazza. Appreciate it, fella. All right, let's see if we can pull some Wilson magic out here. Oh, that's nice and straight. Little left, maybe. No, it's okay. I need a little bit of a run here. Anything inside 10 feet, gonna be happy with that. 10 feet. Still a tough little putt. Sliding to the left. Yes. Prismatic RL, I agree it should have an effect, but often it takes 55% of your shot power, even if it says 70 to 85 in the top right. At least it has for me. Oh, I have news. I purchased the PS4 for my son, so I'm looking forward to joining you guys for some round. Um, Prismatic RL, yeah, I do agree that it's a little inconsistent, so I completely agree with you there. Um, I'll tell you what, this final hole at Harbour Town is bang on the money um, and coastal royalty well done for getting a ps4 i like the way you said i got a ps4 for my son 
Um, it will be interesting to see whether he spends more time on it or you. But yeah, join the society, get in here, let's get some rounds going, fella. Well done for getting a PS4. Um, blind top right shot power, is that the first figure or the second? Uh, let's have a quick look. Top right, first figure or the second? That's not shot power. That figure that you see in the top right, um, it says I have a lie on the fairway and a 98 to 99% chance of getting 100%. So, uh, no, not a nice. In other words, of the 182 yards carry, I'm going to get 98 to 99% of that. So you need to take that into consideration. So if I had a 75% lie here, I'd need to take that into consideration and potentially club up to the 195 club to compensate for the poor lie. But when you're in the fairway, it's always 98 to 99. When you're in the rough, it can vary depending on the rough that you're in. It can be... Um, 90 to 97, 80 to 85, 75 to 97. You know, there can be massive, massive gaps. And that's why being in the rough can penalize you so badly. Because when you get a massive margin like 75 to 97, you could get a 75 or you could get a 97. So you need to choose a club somewhere in the middle to try and eliminate that, that range. Obviously, when you've got 98 to 99, you can't really get... A, you can't really get any better than that. Let's see if we can run this up to the flag. We're on the 18th here, guys. Another nice straight shot. Might be a little short. I took two or three bites at taking some yardage off of that and got a little bad kick on the green. It's not far off being pin high, but I could do with chipping this in. It'd be nice to chip one in. Don't want that. We want halfway. We want six yards. So this is the thing that I've started to get my head around that I couldn't do in the golf club one. So is the nuances of the chip shot in, in the golf club two. So we have 12 yards carry here. And what I found that if you, you put the loft all the way up, you pretty much hit 12 yards. It takes one bounce and stops. So if you've got 13 yards to the to the pin, you hit that 12 yard that 12 yard shot 100%. When you've got six yards, this is where it's a little bit different because you can't control the distance with loft anymore. So what you have to do is you have to judge the swing. So around about as it goes past his knee is going to be about six yards. So it's getting that right. So this is the this is the trick, and I don't always get it right, but this is the bit that I like about the game. See, I hit that a little bit too hard. Um, this is the bit that I like about the game, is that you have to really feel the swing, and that was a little bit too hard, and I would agree on that. But still managed to pick up the par. Really love that course, absolutely love it. I'm going to give it a massive, massive thumbs up. I'm going to give it five stars as I do for most of Colin's courses. I'm going to favourite it just so I know where to find it when I come back to do um, my next season on the True North Golf Society. And let's jump into, let's go into this and then I'm going to do other courses by designer. Ah, excuse me, guys. All right, so I think this is the latest one Colin's put up. No, Black Lake, Michigan he's put up. So I'm keen on playing this one. So this is uh, Trump Doonbeg, County Clare in Ireland. Um, what's that one? Ladybank Fife. Haven't played that one. That's the one I played the other day, the K Club. I fancy this Mission Hills as well. Uh, Mull of Kintyre Lynx. But I'm going to do the Trump Doonbeg. I'm back on the OJ today. Yeah, no water today. Let's see what we got yardage-wise here. Let's 
play. See, this is not that long. 6,754 yards. Let's take pin set two on this one and begin the round. So once again, if anybody is on the PS4 at the moment and wants to jump in and play on the same course as me, you're more than welcome to. And if anybody has yet to check out my YouTube channel, I know that most of the people that follow me on Twitch, that watch me on Twitch, also check out my videos on YouTube. So um, most of you already subscribe, but if you are looking for a YouTube channel to find some more Golf Club 2 videos, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. Same as my Twitch channel, Tim Wilson UK. If you enjoy the videos, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. The subscription button should be somewhere over there in the bottom right hand corner. I am literally, when I came online today, I was one person shy of hitting 1100 subscribers. So um, I'd like to once again say thank you to all those people that have subscribed to the channel. It is very much appreciated. And if you are a newcomer to the YouTube channel and you'd like to subscribe, you're very welcome. Thank you very much if you have hit that subscription button. Wish I could. The PS4 is arriving in the mail today. Ah, oh, it's always great to get something new. So uh, you'll be getting that. You'll be on that later, my friend. All right, this is another thing, another little nuance from the, the Golf Club 2 is that not only do we have the, the lies where the ball is below or above our feet, we also have the lies where we are playing uphill or downhill and when you're playing uphill like this it tends to shorten the shot so you have to actually allow some extra yardage for that not sure how it really impacts on the pitch shot but we've got 50 yards here so i am going to club up to the 55 yard pitch shot and take a little off of it and see how we get on Got a perfect, perfect, and you see that wasn't far off being absolutely spot on. So that uphill lie does affect your yardage. All right, this is, it is a par five, so this is for birdie. And again, this looks like, wow, that moved a lot to the left and then it died to the right at the end. Let's pick up the par. This looks like a massive Lynx course. Properly links this is by the looks of it Yeah, got a load of gorse bushes no trees. I can hear the sea somewhere. Yeah, there it is over there. So once again We're enjoying a nice links course looks like we've got some good weather though a little bit windy But uh, not that bad push that a little or pulled that a little with a fast backswing, but not too bad. I find the wind affects your yardage when the ball is on the way down. Um, it holds up in the wind, yeah. It definitely holds up in the wind. So when the ball gets to its highest position, that's when the wind has the most effect. So then when it starts to come down, it will come down a lot shorter, if you're playing into a headwind, that is. All right, so again, we've got an uphill lie. 167 yards into the wind so I'm gonna add a bit onto this club Poulter is still four under after 13 holes excellent sushi well done thank you very much for the update that is a cracking shot that was almost a slam dunk too that would have been great from 170 yards out get in I am number 11,000 1,000 of what are oh, your number you were number you were subscriber 1,000 or you subscriber 1,100 <laughs> I wish it was 11,000. I think I'm a long way, well, I know I'm a long way off 11,000. Dang it, 1,100, 1,100. Thank you very much for the subscription, Coaster Royalty. I do appreciate it. Nice to have somebody from 
West Virginia. I know I've got subscribers from all over the world, so it's nice to have another American in here. I'm hoping to try and get some, I, I wanna see whether we can do some match play stuff, because I think I've got enough European and enough um, American subscribers now to try and do some kind of Ryder Cup. And I think that would be an absolutely awesome thing to do on here because uh, we've got some great courses here um, and I really want to get some Ryder Cup play going. It's just finding, the, the difficult thing, I know you can play match play in this, um, but what I want to try and do is I want to try and put something together and then present it to you guys in a video. Um, and then I'll need sort of 10 people from, 10 or 12 people from the Europeans, 10 or 12 people from the Americans, and then we'll match them up based on handicaps and things like that. Um, and then we'll have to meet up online and play actual match play. I think it, I think it would be absolutely brilliant, but it's going to take me a little while to figure out, but I definitely think that we can do that. Daza Polter. Four under through 14. Come on, my son. We've got a few holes to go. Let's keep it going. It'd be good if he could pick one up. There's a couple of par fives in the closing uh, closing stretch on that course. So it'd be good if he could pick up a, a birdie. What's Spieth doing anyway? I know I, I, I hate asking, but what is Spieth doing? Is he, is he still five under or is he, is he birdied or bogeyed? I would like to be in, but with UK and Americans, it would need to be over the weekend. Um, I think it probably would be. I probably would try and incorporate it over the weekend. Um, have you ever thought about doing a website to accommodate the true north? Speeth 5 under through 7. Thanks, Dazza, for the update. Um, I've, you know, somebody else has mentioned this to me. I don't have the time the thing is is that I, I i'm going to be dead honest with you that's exactly what i do for a living i work i work for a digital media agency and i'm developing web stuff all day long so the last thing i really want to do is uh do more of it when i get home i tend to do this for a bit of fun i don't tend to do it for anything other than that so I probably wouldn't want to do a website or anything along those lines. I know the second cut do Reddit and all sorts of other stuff. It's not something I'm looking to do, but if somebody is willing to put their hand up and do it on behalf of True North, I'm quite happy for them to do it. Yeah, I don't. I definitely want to. Uh, I definitely want to. Don't want to turn this into work. I mean, the only reason I set True North up was because of the group of friends that I was playing TGC one with at the time. Nobody really put their hand up and said that they were prepared to do it. So I thought I would do it. And to be fair, it's worked out okay. Once you get all the events up in the season, it takes very little maintenance. You don't have to really do anything. You have to update the messages every now and again. Um, it'll probably take me a little longer to set up the second season purely because of the fact that it's going to have more events. And I want to try and create events that are more like real events, like... like um, Wadey's created the Volvo Masters and things like that. I want to try and do a similar kind of thing. But I'm going to try and include as many real courses as possible. And that came up woefully short. Again, I didn't check my... Uh, I didn't check my stance there. And that's probably what affected that. That's a bit fierce. Is it going to stop? Oh, no, it's not. And it's rolling, rolling, rolling. And that is going to roll off the green. Not great. Not a good set of shots there, guys. A bad, bad pitch shot into the green, followed by a really bad putt. All right, 21 feet, one foot uphill.
Oh my god. Did you see the lag on that, guys? It was like, uh, uh, uh. So that's a bogey. Maybe we should reach out to another society and do a Ryder Cup that way. Society against society. Um, yeah, I know they're going to be doing some inter-society stuff in the future, but um, I don't know how far off that is. The only problem with doing it that way is that, you know, if you have a society that is completely American, for example, um, how would you do it? You know, unless there is, and how would you split the nationalities up? It's it's quite it's quite a difficult one to to manage. It's fairly easy inside the society, or not even part being part of the society. Um, I would volunteer to make you one and run it. I have the time and I enjoy making things like that. Kind of my hobby. I'll chat to you about it sometime. Oh, I'd appreciate that. That would be really cool. Thank you very much for that. Um, as I said, if somebody has the time to do it, I've got I would I've got no problem with somebody doing it on on behalf of the society. I'm not um, I'm not that precious about the society, so it is. Um, if somebody would like to do it, that's perfectly fine with me. And coaster royalty, you're more than welcome to take that and run with it, my friend. Okay, so after the bogey on the last hole, I think I've got it straight back. Let's have a look. Yep, bogey, birdie, so two under par. Does anyone know off the top of their heads what the next true event start date is? Um, it's in a couple of days. I don't know the exact date, but what's the date today? 21st, I think it's, I think it's the 24th. It might be the 24th, off the top of my head, I think it's the 24th, but if somebody wants to confirm that, 239 yard par 3, that's a long ass hole. I leave Tuesday for a business trip back on the 1st, yeah, I think... I think it's the 20, I think the next one starts the 24th, but I'm not sure. Pleased with that flop shot, that was better than the one that I played earlier. And that's a par. That's a tough par three, that one, unless you hit that green and stick that green. But sticking the green with a, going in with a, a three wood and trying to stick a green like that kind of size, that's really brutal, that is. All right, we've got a par five. Let's see if we can get a birdie here. Skinny ass fairway, don't want to be left or right. Let's play down the left-hand side just to accommodate my slight fade. It looks like the wind's kept me honest that time. The wind took some yardage off of that. Still got 312 yards. Why it would give me a 9 iron, I have no idea. That's all to do with the waypoints when the course is being created. Let's see if we can get this up there. That's a nice strike. Jack, so I may be able, unable to complete compete in the next event, which means everyone needs to imagine themselves one spot higher, being that my terrible score <laughs> won't be there. Oh, mate, it can't be that bad, can it? All right, we've got a pitch shot here, but it is downhill. And I'm going to aim a little right because of the lie that I've got the ball slightly above my feet. Perfect fast. Not what I wanted. Yeah, didn't quite release like I wanted it to. Alright, moving at the end, but not a lot. 
Got to be a little careful here, otherwise this could roll straight past the hole, but I'll take that. Anything with it, it's got to where you sink a 20 foot putt. It's good. My, we almost finished this front nine as well. Hole number nine. Look at this. Look at this, guys. What an absolute beautiful golf hole. Three separate tees here. In fact, four separate tees because there's looks like the ladies' tee over there. Yeah, there's the red tees. And then we've got blues, whites. Nice, really nice golf hole. Deshambo finishing plus 14 after winning last week. That is brutal. I will start building the framework for the site today. True, yeah, I'd call it, uh, you're going to call it True North Golf. Um, yeah, True North Golf Society, True North Golf, whatever you like, my friend, it's entirely up to you. I, as I say, I'm not going to be precious about it if uh, it's completely in your hands. How's Polter doing, guys? Dazza, you still there, fella? Can you give me an update? Wow, that came up woefully short. All right, we need to try and get that close. That was such a bad shot. That's a nice little chip. Needs to slow down. Look like a short backswing. Mm, I think maybe it is. Thanks for the update, guys. Yeah, I think I, I think I did get a short backswing there, and that has caused me, damn. That's annoying. That is now a bogey. Ah, that's two bogeys on this front nine. Three under, two under, four birdies, two bogeys, three pars. Once again though guys, beautiful course. If you get an opportunity, check out this course from Colin Mafia. It is absolutely stunning. I don't think I am going to be getting to that barren up ahead. And I think this core, uh, this hole is too long to reach in two. Let's have a look. You said you were back. I say you're only as good as your next round. <laughs> this is true. This is true. As is everybody only as good as their next round. This is a tricky shot because that little fairway down there is really, really narrow. So I'm hoping for a nice straight kick, which I've got. Alright, let's have a look at this. That's rolling uphill, so let's put a little bit of check on this because it rolled a little far past last time. Let's see if it takes one bounce. Yeah, it checked up a bit. Oh, that was close. But that should be good enough for the birdie. So after the bogey on nine, we pick up a birdie on 10, back to three under. 153, well, let's see if we play this par three a little bit better. So we got 153, it's 150 yards, all being told. So I'm gonna try and roll it up with the eight iron. I might just put a little more on it. Let's move it over for the wind. And let's see if we can get this close. Come on, swing in with the wind. Wind didn't do too much, probably didn't add enough extra yardage on there. 148, not too bad. Almost pin high. Yeah, got a full swing there. Let's just trundle this up to the flag, shall we? That's okay, not a great putt. That's not the best putt I've done so far. But 
a par th a par on a par three is always good for me. That that is a a birdie on a par three is a massive bonus. I mean, the ones where I always try and get my birdies are always the par fives and the easy par fours. Like this one, for example, we've got the wind behind. It's a short par four, just on 400 yards. It's downhill, a bit of perfect fast, but I should have enough fairway here. It's massive, no hazards to give me any kind of bother. And that will be just about 100 yards. There we go, 100 and, it's 109 yards with the wind behind. That's the only thing that makes this tough, is the wind calculation. Um, 109 yards. Took a little too much off of it and I don't think I've got a full swing there. Someone just bounced and spun the ball around the lip, missing out on a hole in one. Who was that? Russell Knox or, or Russell Henley. That was a good lag putt. Russell Henley. Nice, I think he's an, he's an American chap, isn't he? Russell Knox, I know, is Scottish. He's the one that um, early 1981 pipped to win the Open this year. And I don't think he's done particularly well. Wow, I drew. Wow, did you see that bounce, guys? <laughs> I was well in the rough there, and I'm now in the fairway. So there we go, Jack. There's the uh, there's the Tim Wilson bounce for the day. 210 yards in here now, 218 yards. You know what? I am going to play the not the the four. Sorry, I am going to play the four iron. Um, because I've got a 10 mile an hour wind behind. Let's move it over a little bit. In fact, no, I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is. I was gonna take a little bit off of it, but I think that yardage is gonna be spot on. That's not even gonna reach. Wow. There it is, the special. So, look at that guys, at the top there it says I'm in the sand, but I'm clearly not in the sand. That was terrible, I felt that as soon as I swung it, that was so bad. Thank God this is a par 5, I need to get this close now. All right, let's swing this in from the left. 27 feet. Again, good lag putt. But a par on a par five just feels like you're giving one back. It should have been a birdie. That flop shot out of the bunker was bad. Still three under, three pars on the bounce. All right, what do we got here? So we got 133 yards, but we have a nine mile an hour wind. Perfect fast, not good when you get a perfect fast. That's gonna be way left. And there we didn't get the bounce, guys. Did you see that? That went further into the rough, albeit it's not too bad.
that stopped really, really quickly. And let's still get the par. Any updates on Pulse and uh, he who cannot be named or he who should not be named or he who won't be named? Uh, Pulse still four under, guys. Three fifty nine. How far down can we get this? Wind behind. Yeah, the same. Cool. Thanks for the update. Oh, I need you to stop. Thank you very much. Alright, so we've got 69 yards here. That ball's going to move a little to the left. Little bit of a glitch swing there. Take that. Speed five under, bland five under. Bland's an Englishman. Um, John Daly, 12 over. <laughs> Mind you, I was watching earlier and Todd Hamilton was 12 over, I think. He was, I think he was, he was one of the early groups this morning. Um, I've been working from home today, so I've had the open on in the background whilst I've been working. coming to the end of this round guys not far off now but as I said I will you know if you guys are looking for courses to play always always check out Colin Mafia's courses if you haven't played any of his courses go through his whole library of courses because they're all really really good all right so we've got 145 that is pretty much 145 on the nose we've got a slight uphill lie here we've got a seven mile an hour wind Todd Hamilton finished 18 over. Um, blind Tim, thanks for the advice. Read the power of the shot, top right. Now hitting par after six holes, usually plus 10. Oh, you're very welcome, my friend. It's always nice to uh, nice to get to start hitting hitting some some good shots and getting some good scores. So I hope it continues to go well for you. And. Be Shady 2, your YouTube brought me here. Your tips video was awesome. Thank you for your time with the help in me. My game is in... Oh, well, you're very welcome, guys. I mean, whatever I can do to help, if anybody wants any explanation on anything on here, as I say, I'm by no means the best player out there, but I can and will give any advice, tips or help where I can. You know, you just gotta you just gotta let me know what you guys are looking for and I'm I'm quite happy to do it. Somebody a little bit earlier today sent me a request to, to explain societies and how they work. So I will be doing a video on societies and how they actually work. Um, the offline, the career society and the online society. So keep your eyes peeled for that guys, that will be coming up very, very soon if you wanna know some more stuff about societies. But if you do want some help with anything with regards to in the game or around the game, so in other words, when you're playing around or outside in the menus, then uh, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to talk you guys through it. Got my handicap to plus 10 just for that stupid achievement. Now I can relax when playing. Plus 10, wow, man, that is superb. I think mine's about plus five something at the moment. Plus 10, that's a hell of an achievement. I need the wind to carry this. That's going to come up short. Oh, just be shady. And I will watch your stream and learn because, yeah, you might say you're not the best golfer, but you're legit very smart and very helpful. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, my friend. And thank you for the uh, thanks for the compliments. 
All right, let's see if I can play a better flop shot this time. That's better. That should roll down towards the flag. Not so much. All right, Jack, don't be a dick. All right, we're in for par. One hole to play, four under par. Not the best round, but solid. Right, so Mouster's just sent, I got a glitch, plus 10 trophy, my handicap went to 174 plus 5, and then when I got it back it went to plus 2.8, that's just crazy. There are some real, really weird anomalies in the game at the moment. Alright, so it looks like Martin is sending, uh, sending me some photos, so he's obviously out on the course at the moment. Didn't last long, lol. What is he sending me pictures of? Ah, oh, please tell me Poulter hasn't dropped shots. Um, lol, be shady too, lol. I'm not trying to, but legit, I started this game with a plus 29 handicap and now I'm a 0.7 handicap. Oh no, please don't tell me Poulter has gone a bit backwards. I felt like that wasn't the greatest swing, but it looks okay. He's still minus four. Okay, that's good. So somebody's going, somebody's not doing great because Martin has just sent me a photo. So if you guys, ah, that should have been a birdie. Should have been a birdie to finish. That was a poor putt. Let's finish off here. Let's get this round done. I'm going to favourite this course as well. That's another five star course for me. Let's favourite that one as well. Let's go back to the home. While you guys are on, I'm just going to have a quick look what Martin has just sent me. Right, let's get back in this game so you guys aren't looking at a blue screen. Guys, I'm going to call it a day there. Thank you to all those people that have uh, tuned in on Twitch. For those of you that are watching on YouTube, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the subscription button will be somewhere over there. And feel free to leave any comments in the box below. But until next time, guys, I'll probably be back with a society explanation video because somebody has asked me to... Um, give a little bit more insight into what the societies are, how they play offline and online. So I'll probably do that kind of video coming up next. So may not be some golf in there, but um, it's just more of a informative, instructional video. But uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. But I'll be back very soon, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in again. I've been Tim Wilson, UK. This has been the Golf Club 2. Take care. Bye now.